Good morning, Chooks. Good morning, Chucky. Well, it's good news today. The flock down is going to end the 1st of April, so we can let you into the other side all day. We can take down all this stuff. Let the garden get back to normal. Ooh, you're keen. Come on then. There you go. Some goodies. There's some bird in the background. Here we go. We've got one egg this morning. A lovely one too. But we still have these. Can you see them? Those are red mite. The bane of the chicken's lives in the summer. Right, so they're going to have to go again. A bit of trouble with the uh, wooden coop because they're going all the little nooks and crannies, you see, and it's difficult to get hold of. Well, get at them. This is what I've been using, but I need to get some more. Smite. This is the other stuff I've got which is diatomaceous earth powder. Okay. That also kills dead mice. Yep. The powder. I puff it about in the coop. That kills them as well. One, two, and now number three. Which is red stop. Solution for red mite, red mite control for birds in captivity. Okay, well, basically, it's a herbal remedy uh, making the bird's blood unpalat unpalatable to mites, which stop feeding and die of starvation. So, all you do is you put one, can you see that? Milliliter in a litre, there's a litre, a litre of water, okay, and what is it, it's thyme and all sorts of herbs, so, I've been doing it for four days so, so far, so, so good, but we've still got the red mite. Nice clean water, now girls, stop treading in it. Yeah, you're not coming out just yet. Hi, right, Holly. Oh, yep, gonna pet me. Don't pet my fingers. <laughs> it's a pig, isn't it? Right, so I am going to uh, wash the coop inside mostly uh, with a solution. Of bleach and soapy water. Do you know, I think I might just get a plastic coop next time. You know, these do look nice. But, see that red? That is chicken blood that the mites have been eating or sucking their blood. Yes, you. And she's a very angry chicken. She just Peck me, look. Come, madam. Aren't you? Holly, that's not very nice, you know. I'm being nice, you don't have to be weird. Yeah, interested in what's happening? Okay, so here goes. It's a nice day. A bit scrub. Okay, right, scrubbed. Leave that dry a bit. I'd like to be behind this little door as well. Can you see? So, we could scrub it. Oh, scrubbed. Right. Another place is here. You'll probably see them there. You see? Yep, yeah, disturb them. And I shall put some more bleach on there. Okay, 
There's still some movement. Creepy crawlies. That's okay, that's a beetle. No beetle. Out of the way. There we go. Dilution of bleach. I'll fill this up. Bleach, so. When diluted, we'll get them with that. Very persistent, and then five days' time, we'll have to do it again, probably because of the eggs. I think the life cycle is five days, the eggs hatch, and you get more of the uh, creepy crawlies. I'm also tempted to move the coop away, but just a couple of weeks yet of lockdown, lockdown, and then we can move. Just let those dry and I'll pop them back in. Here we go. Right. It's looking a bit worse for where this is. The metal is not too good. Yeah. Diatomaceous earth in the corners. Don't breathe it in. Yeah, all the tiny sea creatures, diatoms, which pierce the skin or whatever it is of the mites. Still a bit wet here, I'll keep it. Get the lid open. I think it's very difficult to get rid of the red mite, but we can keep them controlled. There we go, shut the door. They tend to be here. That's a congregate. It doesn't really want to fit anymore. We're just a bit swollen. Okay. The straw. I'm just going to go to, to the wood in a bit. It's a spring solstice. Hooray, spring is here. There we go. I'm bring it back. Ooh, I'll open that up so won't get in. There. Nice and cosy. Beautiful. Right, chooks. Oh, you're actually eating your proper food for a change. We do have a perch there, look. Gonna film this. We've got two of them. 